Oh, today we're going to tidy up some of these Space 1999 figures and probably start painting them, probably the faces. And we'll see how we go. Um, some of them don't need a lot, so like you can see Maya has some seam lines that just need scraping away really. Doesn't take a lot. This sort of white metal is very soft. You could use files if you want to, but don't really need it. Uh, Koenig is pretty seam free to be honest. He's really nicely cast. Um, I'm probably not going to use the Koenig head that comes with it because th I'm not sure which one looks best. I think that looks more like Koenig than that one does, so I'll probably use that head. These two, so you got Alan, I presume that's Alan. His hair is more like Alan than that one is. So this one, so because it's not licensed, these guns are not quite stun guns, but what I'm going to do is try and cut this, this bit off. I'm going to try and take uh, tidy me desk, and I'm going to try and take most of it off with a pair of snips. There you go. And then just tidy it up with the scalpel. There we are, so he's got a stun gun rather than some sort of blaster. Um, he's not too bad because he's got his gun out, so all I need to do is snip the end off. And tidy that up. Let's use a file on that, if we can find one. There's somewhere. I'll use a knife. I might glue some nozzles on that one. The button is too far forward now, so I'm going to cut that off. Put a new button on. He's got a few flash bits. See on his hand there. Other than that, not too bad. And then this one was the one I was going to try and turn into Victor. Um, and Victor never really carried a gun. So that will need to come off. And I also need to cut off the security uh, sort of belt, like Sam Brown. First I'm going to cut the head off, because I'm not going to use that head. I can go in the spare bucket. And thinks what I can do. So that would be Victor's head on there. So we need to do some trimming, really. So you get the idea. I'm just going to trim all this off, cut his stun gun off holster and try and change this into some sort of scientific instrument rather than a, a gun. So I'm going to do that off camera and then I'll come back and show you the, uh, the result. So I've done uh, some work on these. So I've cut the head off Maya and stuck it on the body. That's all it needed on that one. I've used the spare Koenig head on the body for him. I've stuck what I think is the Allen head. It could be Koenig again, but I'll paint it up to be Allen on the 
body there. I've used the generic head to give us a generic security guard. And then I've, for Victor, I've cut the gun down so it's more like a scientific instrument. So he's got like a radiation detector thing on the end. Uh, put the Victor head on, cut away all the holsters and the cross webbing, giving him a little com lock. So he's now season one Victor. I'm going to actually put a little bit of filler in. He's got a V in the jumper there, which they didn't have on season one. And then I'm going to undercoat them. We can start painting them. Right, I've undercoated these with just Poundland really cheap uh, acrylic primer. I've decided to do Helena Russell instead of Maya because the sculpt on the face is just so nice. It seems a shame to waste it. I'll probably send off and get another Maya. And then uh, once he's undercoated, old Victor, he looks all right. Can't see any other scrape marks. So uh, we're going to probably paint Coney, well actually I might paint the heads on all of these because of the, the weird colour that these uniforms are, sort of a mushroom off-white colour. I want to probably paint them all at the same time, the uniform parts. So if I do the faces now, then it will give an idea of, uh, of how the faces get done. So, let's a bit of space and then I'm going to use for the base flesh tone I'm going to use Citadel Cadian flesh tone I find that's a nice flesh tone I do lighten it slightly with I've got some Vallejo sorry I just knocked the camera there let me find my light flesh tone which is, there we go, the light flesh tone. So let me just mix some of that up. Okay, so let's do Koenig first. Let's move these out of the way. We're not too worried about where the paint goes at the moment. Because we can tidy it all up. This is just getting a a base coat down. So let's put them to one side. Let's do Helena. A little bit of, sorry, I'm brushing my mouth. Just a little bit of flash on the hand there. I didn't notice. Let's cut that off. someone that will end up as I want. Okay, he's got quite a deformed hand there, but luckily it will be covered up. we got Victor. It's based 1999 of course when the few programmers were the heroes are all middle-aged men and women, as it would be, as it was a scientific base. And then this gentleman, I need to do some brown base coat. I'm going to mix a bit of brown with some flesh. Super glue on his neck was still wet from when I glued it down. So it, as soon as the paint hits it, it instantly goes a bit weird. Okay, I'm gonna let them dry and we'll come back to it. Right, we're gonna put some shade on the flesh. You, I always use this Citadel shade, Reichland flesh shade. Um, works really well. I use it for pretty much everything. 
Give it a good shake. And you don't need much, and all we're going to do is lay it into the crevices. And it gives a bit of a shade. And you can always go and add more if you need it. But if you put too much on in one go, it's not coming off. And all this does is brings out the detail of the casting. So the better the casting, the easier it is to paint like this. These are really nice crisp castings. You get soft casting and this system doesn't really work that well. And that just needs to dry. Right, so the shade has dried, and for the next bit you need the shade to be very dry, or completely dry, because if it's seeming slightly wet it won't work. And we're going to do a bit of dry brushing, a lighter flesh tone, over these parts, just to bring out the highlights. So I'm going to mix a little bit of flesh with some Citadel White. And then you just get some paint on your brush and then wipe it off until the brush is almost dry, hence dry brushing. And all we're doing is going over the flesh tones to bring out the highlights. And again, you can always highlight a bit more but you can't take it off. Hmm. I forgot he's pretty bald, so I do need to fill in just a little bit of flesh on the top of his head. we haven't done. A bit more paint, brush it off. Can you see it? it springs out the facial features. And then I need to darken a little bit of brown in my light colour. this man there we go the next thing we're going to do is paint eyeballs which is not my favourite of tasks but steady hand see where we go remember you can always start again It's a bit thick. Just thin that paint a little bit. If the paint's too thick, it just globs on. Because you only have a little bit of paint on your brush, it dries out really quickly, and you want to keep it wet, but not too wet. If it's too wet, it will just pull up in the eye socket and ruin the paint, ruin the paint job I should say. And Victor's eye is kind of a bit mad, I might have to touch that up a bit. There we go, and then 
let that dry and we can paint the eyeballs. Actually, while we're waiting, we can paint some of the hair. So, Koenig's got jet black hair, being the manly man that he is. Let's find that black, it's just there. So I just use the bad and black. I like these Citadel paints. They cover really well. They're fairly cheap. You do have to brave the Games Workshop shops there to get them. As I don't game myself, that's the question I always ask you when you go in, do you game? But no, I just paint the miniatures and they look at you like you're a strange, strange person. Let's pop them to one side, get out of the way, Helena. I've got quite a few figures to paint. I do like to get all the faces done first. So what I'll be doing on the, these videos is I'm going to do the heads faces. I might not do all the hair yet, but we'll see. And then we'll do the uniforms on a, another day. Cause I'm going to have to mix up some uniform color. It's a weird, weird color. When I made my uh, moon base uniform full size one trying to find the correct color in fabric was just a hideous hideous nightmare oops it's because my paint was drying out a bit and remember if you make a mistake you can correct it it's not the end of the world at the end of the day these are Little figures, they're not, you know, if, even if you destroy one, just buy another one or spray it again. Start from scratch. So yeah, do his eyebrows. Kony does have some amazing eyebrows. receding hairline. So security guard's gonna have black hair. Give him some eyebrows as well. Okay. Um, Victor has grey hair so let's mix a bit of grey. Big mutton chops. Painting thin, thin in hair is quite difficult, especially at this uh, scale. Some eyebrows. And then Helena has very pale blonde hair. So I'm going to use some Landry dust for the base coat and then probably white on top of it bring out the highlights. Sorry I went a bit off camera there. Because my eyesight's going and uh, I tend to get things bring things closer and closer to view them. So this is a really nice sculpt of um, Barbara Bain. Wish I could sculpt as well at this scale. Right, there we go. 
for Alan. So Alan is going to be sort of mousy blonde. So I'm going to do him actually add some brown in to that Zantree dust just to darken it a bit. I'm not entirely unconvinced this isn't another Koenig head, but it'll be alright. The other head didn't look anything like Alan either, so I don't know which one you're meant to use. Whatever one you want, I suppose. Doesn't really make a difference. Give me some eyebrows, I've got too much paint on my brush. I didn't do Helena's eyebrows today. I'm going to do Helena's eyebrows in a darker colour. Choose the brown. See if that works. Eyeball time. Generally, I'll use blue for eyeballs. I think it seems to look better, even when it's not correct for the actors. But so I'm going to use some McCraggy blue. Blue. Whenever I go and buy these, and I ask what colour I want, it's just a blue. <laughs> I don't deal with the names particularly well. Right, so this is where you need a steady hand. Try not to make them bog-eyed, because there's nothing worse than a little figure that's looking at you two different directions. Should I give him brown eyes? It's doing the changes. because he's got these sunken eye pits. There he goes, looking to one side. He's judging someone. Probably some alien. I quite like that. I'm going to do him brown eyes as well. So let's get a little bit brown. Let's get some pure brown. Where did I put it? Unfortunately, I'm a very messy modeler. So I can never find anything. As soon as I put it down, it's lost. There it is. I enjoy painting little figures more than I do ships and things. He looks scared for some reason. Let's see. Again, another aliens at a go. Paint eyeballs as detailed as you want. I mean, different levels get different details. Let me show you a couple of things. So 
so these are two larger figures, and they're both of um, the woman from Rogue One, Star Wars story, and I repaint the figures. So you see those eyes, and how far we can come in before it won't focus. Have a look. So those, you put a bit more detail in, you have a pupil, etc. And then going up, sorry, big model this one. This is like a quarter scale one. And you see the eyes, you can start putting in actual detail, light reflections. And again, that was just like a, I think Toys R Us were selling these at four quid. I buy them, paint them up, cheaper than models, and some of them are really nice. But all we're going to try and do is put a a line just suggesting the uh, eyelashes etc and this is where it can go horribly wrong so you need a very fine brush like that and a little bit of black but you need to keep it quite fluid let me get a bit of black out And it's sort of difficult because you have to just sort of suggest it. Now you see it just brings out the eye. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. I just think it looks good. John Hemi doesn't need it. Victor does. Again, the paint is already drying on the brush. As soon as it dries out, it's not going to go very well. Let's thin it a bit. But again, you don't like it so thin that it's going to suddenly pull up. We could do with it being a bit heavier than the other people because she will have probably mascara etc on this is always a very nerve-wracking kind of the job because this is where you suddenly realize you've ruined everything you've done with a bit of flesh tone in it and I use again Citadel Mephiston red anything to do with Mephisto no idea let's just add some hint red lips Okay, and then with Helena, I'm also going to add a little bit of flesh wash, like we used before, just in the hair on the sides. Again, just to bring out a bit of detail. It doesn't work on the darker coloured hair. That's that. And then to finish the hair, it's just a dry brush. And I normally dry brush hair in just a, a white. So make sure your brush is very dry. And get some white out. And again, do it in a very light 
goes. Otherwise, you can always take it back. Sorry, you can always add more. You can't take it off. Let's let her dry for a bit. You can always test it on your hand, see if the dry brushing is going to work. It just brings out the detail. Someone like Victor, you can be a bit more generous on because he's got grey hair. But someone like Alan, you want to make sure there's not a lot of paint on your brush. generous with because she has got very very light blonde hair almost going into white there we go so that's just all I'm gonna do today well, let's have a look so you've got Koenig A bit villainous. There you've got Victor. Like him. You've got anonymous security guard that's bound to be killed first. How they got people to volunteer for security, I do not know. There's Alan looking into the sky. And then there's Helena, which I think is a really nice likeness. So that's the faces. So we'll come when we come back on the next one. We can uh, start painting the uniforms and then uh, see how they go from there. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again. Bye.